Hi all, uh, myself Amrita Valli, Associate Professor in Data Science Department from NRI Institute of Technology, Agripalli and welcome all to my class. Uh, in this video, you are going to learn about the comparison of file system and DBMS and every time when we were learning a new thing, we will uh, focus on why we are learning that new topic or uh, new implementation. So here also, I came up uh, with some points why we need to use database management system. To know that, uh, we need to know the differences between the existing system files, uh, existing system file system and DBMS. Uh, the prior one for DBMS is file system. So the first difference here is in terms of definition I am speaking. Uh, what is file system? So when we want to uh, store some information, we can store the information in a notebook also manually. But why we prefer to store the data in digital format in the form of a file is there are some advantages like security or the other things. And here also when we want to store some data in a file, in a folder or in a directory, we need a file system which can organize and manage the data and this file system is a part of the operating system which otherwise we speak it as the system software and coming to DBMS it is the one which can organize and manage the data that is present in tabular format in a database and the second difference here it is mentioned as unstructured data and here in DBMS we speak it is structured data and why unstructured data is the data can be in any format suppose let me take an example uh, I take a sentence my name is Amruta and I got 90 marks in DBMS and I am from this location so everything I am going to store in the form of a sentence in, in the form of a text in a file system but whereas in the DBMS I can store this data in the form of a tabular format like rows and columns in the first column I'll mention the name and in the second column I'll mention the marks and in the third column I'll mention the location so like this I can arrange the data in a structured format like this we can store n number of students or n number of persons data in a structured format why we, why we need to store the data in structured format is if we save the data in structure format then it is easy to access the data we can uh, manage the data we can update the data so that's the reason we go for dbms which where we can store the data in structure format uh, structured data and the third difference here i mentioned is decentralized and centralized and uh, why it is decentralized means let me take an example suppose if uh, a student uh, is attending for five classes or five subjects every faculty will note down the student details his marks his name his roll number everything in their separate file in in their separate laptop uh, that means which are present in different locations and in different files one faculty data is not be close to the other faculty data but here in the dbm in this dbms the, it is centralized uh, when we speak about this centralized all the faculty are going to save their data at the same location and because of this uh, when we want to update the data it is easy for a person to do that updation and coming to uh, the next one user access limited definitely if the data is stored in the form of a file only one user can access the data at a time but when we store the data uh, in centralized format then n number of users can access the data at a time suppose let me take an example that every college is having some portal exam portal or some other portal where students can see their marks and details at a time but if the data is stored in the form of a file at a respective faculty each student can go to their faculty uh, ask their ask for their marks and they can access the data one after the other which, where they can't all the students at a time they can't uh, access the data at a time 
right and data redundancy is more definitely if uh, five different faculty are storing five different files of data uh, and the data is same every faculty is storing uh, data of all the students in five different files the data is same but stored in different files that means there is a duplicate data there is a duplicate data data is repeated that we speak here as redundant data but whereas in dbms all the faculty are storing the data at one place at one location so there is no chance of duplicate data or repeated data and followed by inconsistent data why i am saying it is followed by is suppose one student came to one faculty and updated his phone number but he didn't intimated the change in phone number to other faculty if he intimate to the other faculty then only the data will be changed in the respective file in file system but whereas in dbms if the update is done at a time it will be reflected in each and every place wherever his phone number is present okay and the next is followed by harder to secure why i am speaking it is harder to secure is if many copies are there we need to work on many things to secure the data but whereas here the data is placed at one location and it is easy to secure the data and when we want to hide some details also it is possible suppose every time we faculty enter the marks and we only give the option for student to view the marks not to edit the marks so that is possible easily with dbms whereas with the file system maybe it is possible but we need to take care we need to work on lot things we need to take more burden and uh, the other is data integrity is low why data integrity is low is data is when the data is accurate and when the data is consistent and when the data is reliable we can speak the integrity is high but here in file system we can't be sure that the data can be accurate and reliable suppose again i'll take an example if we enter marks for a student if i enter a mark like 101 it is not a good mark actually why because marks cannot be more than 100 we know that and that indication is possible easily in the file system but uh, in the dbms but not in the file system that's the reason we can say the data is accurate reliable in dbms and finally the last one is no automatic backup and recovery suppose if i want to save my file i mean i want to re i want to keep my file duplicate file uh, why i need to keep a duplicate file is maybe my, my file may collapse or uh, for some reason it may damage for that reason i may want to keep a backup file that i need to do manually but that is not the case in dbms there are certain tools and there are some some special features which can automatically provide the backup and recovery so all these things whatever now i had spoke is about the benefits and advantages of dbms over file system but i am not saying that there are no disadvantages of uh, dbms there are even disadvantages but we will come to know those things in the next lecture thank you